What's up guys, James here with Fun Fact of the Day. Hope you guys are having a great day, learning lots, and getting stuff done. Today, we're going to talk about one of the tools you probably use to get a lot of stuff done, and that is Google Maps. Specifically, how do they figure out how fast traffic is going? How do they know where all the accidents are? How do they know where there's construction? And generically, how do they know how long it's going to take you to get from point A to point B? You see... It's all magic. They actually have Dumbledore tied up over at Google, and he tells them exactly where all the traffic is. No, that's not it. But what they do have is tons and tons of location data, specifically from all of your phones and mine. If you are an Android user and you have your location turned on at any point, Google knows exactly where you are, and they're tracking it, and they put it all into their computer system. And if you're an Apple user, and you ever open up Google Maps, or Waze, or any of the other map-related websites that they own, you are also being tracked the same. And then what they do is they take all that data, real-time data, and they put it into a computer system that tells them how fast people are moving, and how fast people move on an average. So, let's say it's Monday morning at 5 a.m. on the 405 and you're headed to work. They have 10 years of location data for every Monday at 5 a.m. on your exact path to work. So what they'll do is they'll take your current data for, you know, how fast everybody's moving around you, the actual traffic that's going on, and they'll average it with how fast the traffic is usually going and give you an estimate for how long it's going to take to get to that point. Now, you're probably wondering, all right, well... They can do that, but how do they know when something's an accident or if everybody's just driving really slow? Well, they have tons of other companies that report accidents. For example, Waze is another one of their apps where people self-report where things are. So if they see an accident, they'll click accident on their phone and Google will know immediately that it's an accident. They also own hundreds of other companies and work with other companies that will tell them exactly where accidents happen and when it's construction or something else causing traffic. In fact, they're so good at this that they can determine when there's a marathon in a city based on the fact that there's no cars in a certain area, but there's a whole bunch of people with their phones running at a slightly higher than average walking pace. It's amazing. And that's pretty much it. The rest of their algorithm is extremely proprietary. So if you want to learn more about it, get a job at Google, work your way to the top, and they'll tell you what to do. So as a recap, basically, they track your phone. They know where you went to dinner last night. They know where your Tinder date happened, and they know exactly where you are right now. And that is how they determine traffic. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below. I'll leave a map in the description on how to get to that like button. And... If you haven't already, consider subscribing. We put out new videos every single day. They're all better than this one. So if you want to check out any more of those, I'll put a link right here up in the top right-hand corner of the screen, unless this is backwards, in which case it's the left-hand corner. Thank you very much, and I will see you tomorrow.